there that's given so much to this program over her four-year career, both on and off the floor, and has just been the epitome of what our program has uh, represented and, and stood for. And for the fact for her to be able to do that tonight here at home um, over a, a, a team as, as good as Carolina and to do it in the fashion she did um, is just poetic justice for me. Um, I'm just very, very excited for her and very proud of her and her accomplishments. Um, and obviously, it's a huge win for our team. Um, you know, we, we have... Um, you know, we've had some highs and lows, but we've, we've decided to turn this around and we know what we have to do uh, to, to win and get into postseason. And now we're focused on, you know, what we've got to do over the next, uh, you know, we, we had eight games, six games left, and, and we know what we have to do. We've been here before and uh, we know what we have to do and we're ready to take care of business. I thought, you know, Kayla struggled a little bit in the first half, but I thought she had a huge second half and to finish with 20 and, and 10 and that kind of situation in that game is huge for a freshman. And, you know, we had some great contributions. I mean, Aaliyah Whiteside with a double-double. Sydney Wallace was huge on the offensive end. And, and I thought Nariah Taylor with her 10 rebounds um, was a huge, you know, uh, contribution. For us to get 62 rebounds on a team like Carolina says a lot about our hustle and our heart today. Coach, coming down the stretch when you had the lead, let's say with about five minutes ago, was your plan to just keep taking it to them or did you want to <laughs> – <laughs> yeah, I wanted to keep taking it to them. Um, you know, obviously, I was, I was. It was. It's a hard. That's a hard. Um, that's a hard thing when you got a player like Ty trying to attack the basket. You know, to pull her back. But at the same time, you know, we, we what we really wanted to do was move the ball from side to side. And if we didn't have a layup, we wanted to take a shot late in the shot clock. But when Ty had numbers and she's attacking the rim, you know, that's a that's a tough thing to to tell a player like Ty Marshall. You know, that's her decision in that time. She's earned that right as a senior to make those decisions and. You know, she went to the rim. She went hard. Those could have been fouls. They could have been and ones. So, you know, tonight didn't roll our way. But, um, you know, in the future, I, I would say that, you know, obviously if it was in the hands of, you know, anyone else, I would say we, we need to move the ball and, and take a shot late in the shot clock. But, you know, with our when somebody's a go-to player and you're counting on them to make plays, you've got to give them the freedom to make those decisions. You got in a little foul trouble in the front court. Whiteside really picked it up. A little. <laughs> we got in a lot of foul trouble in the front court. But, um yeah, I thought, I thought Aaliyah Whiteside, you know, the last game at Pittsburgh, she did a tremendous job. She played the five and the four for us. And Ty tonight played in the post for us. She played the four some, and Aaliyah played the five some. And Rodrika Rogers played out of position at the five. And, you know, Naraya, Aaliyah, and Shayla all had to play with four fouls the entire second half. So it was, a, you know, obviously over there on the sideline where we had to do a lot of juggling around with different lineups and, and matchups and things like that. But I'm just really proud of our players. And I've always said all along, all year, I felt like our versatility was a strength of ours. And I thought tonight that paid off for us. Coach, uh, defensively, Dawn, you know, you talk about her all the time kind yep. of being under the radar. She was really good mm -hmm. tonight, especially uh, down low with that last oh. you know, 30 seconds or so. Oh. That was a huge, that was probably the biggest play of the game. No doubt about it. Dawn May, you know, I didn't mention her earlier, but one of the things she does is she's so unselfish. She comes in off the bench for us as a senior who's started three years of her career. And as a senior, she's coming in off the bench. And, you know, the thing she values is defense. And she's our defensive stopper. And I thought that she, you know, tonight they got that. We had a switch, a diagonal back screen. It was a switch, and we got caught up. And she recovered and got, the, got her hands on the ball and knocked it out of her hands and made a, a huge defensive play. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of points scored tonight and not a lot of defense played, but I thought that, she, you know, the, for, the, for the defensive play to be the key to the game was, was huge, and I thought Don really stepped up for us and got it done. Going into the game, you heard a lot about the Shields, but it, it seemed like Ray was the one that really took it to you. Well, you know, one of the things, um, you know, I've, I've watched both of those players play throughout their careers in high school. They're both from from Georgia. So, you know, obviously I, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Alicia Gray. I, I've just always, um, you know, thought that she was a, you know, just an under-the-radar kind of kid, a kind of player. Um, she, to me, was always one of the, the most competitive kids in that class. And, you know, you got to – you look at Kayla and Alicia Gray and Diamond all being in the, in the same class. That's a pretty – that's a pretty special class in the in, uh, state of Georgia last year. And, you know, I think Alicia Gray is a, is a very talented player. There's no doubt in her first time coming home to play. Obviously, she <coughs> stepped up and made plays. But, you know, on the other side, you got to look at Kayla with her double-double as well. So, you know, I think that, um, you know, I thought that – Obviously, they have a young team with, with two special freshmen or a couple special freshmen. And, you know, we've got a young team with a special freshman and a couple special freshmen. So, you know, it was just one of those things where we competed for 40 minutes. Ty, uh, Coach just said, too, about the freshmen. You know, you're a senior. And all these young kids aren't around playing well. But you, you really had, you know, a nice night. Can you talk a little bit about breaking the scoring record, and especially in a win like tonight? Um, it's just, first of all, it's very – 
I'm just grateful. I'm, I feel blessed right now. I mean, to be to do it with the teammates I have and the coach that I have. I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. And I mean, it's just great. I mean, my teammates, you know, it's all they kept talking about. They weren't talking. I mean, we were talking about winning, but they were talking about Ty. You know, we right behind you. We we'll back you up. We want you to do this here, in front of your, in front of Georgia Tech fans. So I did it, and it's just great to do it with my team. And it just right now it feels unbelievable. Hey, well, when you start off and you struggle a little bit, you know, shooting, what what goes through your mind, and, and you start thinking about, well, there's a lot of other ways I could contribute out there. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think that's what goes through my mind is, you know, obviously you, you have to be versatile. You know, you can't just, um, you know, just say if I'm not hitting shots, I'm not scoring. You know, you got to find other ways to impact the game. You got to find, you know, other ways to score. And, um, you know, just like Ty said, you know, our, our teammates have our backs. And, um, you know, to go into any game and just know that, you know, people have your back is, you know, gives you all the confidence that you need. I imagine that three you hit from the corner in the second half might have yeah, finally. You know, I think after a while, um, I mean, you know, I just think, you know, throughout the course of the game, it's you kind of have to, um, you know, just be patient. I think I'm still kind of, you know, working that out a little bit. But, um, yeah, you know, that that definitely kind of helped, you know, a little bit in the second half. So. Coach, can you get back to uh, the fact that they had foul trouble, especially right away in the second half, you had a fourth foul, fourth foul, fourth foul, mm-hmm. still – Well, one thing that's been a staple of our program for the last 12 year, to 11 years has been our guards have been great rebounders. And if you look at this right here, I thought Kayla stepped up and got you know, it's her back-to-back double-doubles the last two games, and she's really done it on the defensive end, on the boards. Um, you know, tonight she ended up with five offensive rebounds. But, you know, she does a great job when she's going to the boards and she's getting defensive rebounds. You know, it really takes the pressure off our post players. But we have some great rebounders on this team. And Rodrika Rogers is a – is a very talented rebounder. You know, Ty Marshall's always been a great rebounding guard since she's been at Georgia Tech. And and then you look at Naraya Taylor tonight to get 10 rebounds. Um, you know, that's that was huge in 14 minutes. I mean, she had 10 rebounds in 14 minutes. So, you know, that's a that's a huge contribution. And Aaliyah Whiteside with a double double. I mean, she's had two huge games the last two games. So as we're getting more production from other people, it takes some of the pressure off of Ty and Kayla, and they're able to, you know, do some other things rather than, you know, they did take a lot of shots tonight. Both of them got a lot of shots, but you know, if you look at it, you know, they got a lot of rebounds and they went after and got second and third shots and just made plays for us. Does this give you the momentum you're looking for going down the stretch? There's no doubt about it. I mean, this is a signature win. This is something you need when you to start talking about postseason. And, you know, we all know how tough this conference is, and we got to turn right around. Miami just beat North Carolina, so we got to turn around and go to Miami on Sunday. But you know what? We're, we feel good about where we are, and we feel like we match up with just about anybody in the ACC at this point. And, you know, we're, we're going to work, just try to outwork people and outplay people for 40 minutes. And we can control what we can control, and that's showing up and doing our job. And that's what we're committed to doing. Okay, well, they asked you about the three-pointer. You took me through that last layup you had before, before you found out of the game, and that was, I mean, they just taking the lead, and this is the free throw you make yeah. down the court. You kind of walk me through that. That's honestly probably one of the freakiest decisions I think I've ever made in my life. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think it was just a matter of, you know, obviously what's going through your head is you have four fouls. You know, you don't want to get a charge. And, you know, you just kind of had to read her. She was, you know, a little bit outside the paint. So I felt like I could, you know, get on the inside of her and you make the layup. So, um that's what I decided, and it, and it went well. So um, that's, uh, yeah, I think that's just the way that went. It happened, it happened quickly after the game. But, um, yeah. You and Diamond had just a quick second to chat. Yeah. You said you guys didn't talk before the game. What was, no. what was that, that brief conversation like? No, I mean, it was just, you know, simply just keep doing work, you know. Keep, um, you know, keep playing well, keep, you know, working hard, keep doing big things. So, you know, I think um, – you know, I don't think you'll find, you know, two players that have more respect for each other. You know, I respect that kid so much, and, you know, I know she does the same. So, um, you know, growing up, I think, you, you know, we really made each other better, and we really competed against each other. So, um, you know, I look forward to seeing them again. And, you know, like I said, it was just, you know, simply just, you know, a great game and, you know, keep your head up, and this isn't the end of the road. So, um, like I said, you know, I just have a ton of respect for her. She said this is the first time you guys have against each other since seventh grade. It is. It is. Yeah. It was, it <laughs> I was like I was feel like it was a long time coming, you know. So um you know we didn't we didn't really match up in high school and um everyone kinda wanted that AAU matchup. Never happened. But um like I said it was it was a long time coming. It was gonna happen eventually. So it seems like inevitable it always happens. So um, do you think about it always playing? I mean do you I mean you see her you know her but yeah. it's kind of um, fun you know, Yeah it's fun. fun. Like I said, yeah, you know we've we've made it fun over the years. Um you know we've always just competed and just 
you know, we've never made it about us. We've made it about the team and trying to, you know, win games. So I think when you do that and not worry about, you know, yourselves, and it's fun, you know, and that's what it is. So um, you can't you can't get wrapped up in all that stuff, you know. You, you just can't. So like I said, we just we found a way to make things fun.